everybody and welcome back to my channel Discoveries Itself. My name is Natalie. But today I'm going to be talking about the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Foundation. There has been a hype around this and I wanted to hype it up too because it's Pat McGrath, you know, supporting the successful black woman. Like you just want to be out and just support as loud as you can. But that price tag, whoo! That price tag was a lot. So um, there was a whole set. There was the foundation, a powder, and a primer. Um, the foundation was £60. The powder, I believe, was £50. And the primer, I want to say, was £40 or £50. I'm not too sure. Either way, I am pick up the set. I Listen, I don't get paid for blogging, all right? So <laughs> I don't get paid for any of this. Not a lot. So um, I just picked up the foundation. So I'm going to be talking to you guys about the foundation today. My thoughts on it. Um, obviously wearing it. And then we can go from there. If you are subscribed, you guys are the OGs. Thank you. I love you. If you're not subscribed, pass by. Click that subscribe button. And also click on that notification bell so that you know when I upload my next videos. But let's get into it. Let me stop talking. Let's just get into it okay so before I continue I know this headscarf may be a little bit distracting and ratchet but um I um, bleach my hair again <laughs> if you don't follow me on Instagram you know what to do you know what to do or check in the description bar below um but I need my hair to lay down I just washed it today so I um, put a ton of gel in it and I just need it to lay down so this is why it looks crazy and why I have my headscarf on for this video I'm just getting ready because I'm actually heading out so, um, I picked up the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. Picked this up from Selfridges. Um, I know a lot of people were asking me where I got this from. And Pat McGrath has been available in Selfridges for the past, I don't know, a couple of months now. So, you can go to Selfridges and Bond Street or you can order online from Selfridges to get Pat McGrath stuff in terms of the skin fetish foundation has a couple of claims uh, it says it's buildable perfecting coverage a weightless texture which is what i love i never like to feel my foundation when i'm wearing foundation i don't ever want to feel it a sublime satin finish if your oily combo satin is a sort of word that you don't want to hear but you know we'll, we'll, we'll test it out we'll see um runway tested Okay. and mother approved universal formula for all skin types now that's a thing that makes me feel like mm, I don't think you can have I don't think you can have a foundation that's for all skin types I don't understand how that would work per se do you need to adapt formulas for different skin types I wouldn't wear a luminous foundation like I don't know the new Fenty luminous foundation because I know that I have oily skin so for them to say that it's for all skin types makes me question it a little bit but like I said, this is the point of this so that I'll be able to test it out and see. Um, it says it's oil free, paraben free and fragrance free as well. So on the Pat McGrath website, it says this about the foundation. Silky, luxurious and weightless, Mother's first ever foundation feels serum soft to the touch while delivering controlled, easily buildable coverage. We shall test. Infused with lush Vita Serum Complex, don't care. This nourishing formulation is designed to help fight the formation of wrinkles by preserving the hydrolipidic, hydrolipidic, I hope I said that right, hydrolipidic film barrier of the skin and boost hydration by activating the natural production of hyaluronic acid and ceramides. Diamond core power technology improves skin texture, optically smoothing and blurring the appearance of fine lines and imperfections. 36 perfect colour choices in five shade levels ranging from lavishly light to devastatingly deep hues. Elevate every skin tone. So by reading this, it definitely seems like uh, the target audience for Pat McGrath is definitely, I don't know, in the mid 30s upwards. I'm 31. Um, I don't really worry about wrinkles at this moment in time, but maybe one day I will. Stuff like hyaluronic acid and stuff. I mean, it doesn't, it's not something that is my concern at this moment in time. But if you are older than me, maybe that's something that concerns you. But it does, yeah, definitely seem like this is aimed at the older generation um, compared to like the young 20 year olds and stuff like that. So um, I don't know if I mentioned, but I got the shade medium deep 26. When I went into store, I swatched a couple of the shades um, and I felt like medium deep 27 and medium deep 28 both ran way too red for my complexion. Like, I don't know why we're still having these issues, but I maybe it's just the way that deeper shades are formulated. I'm not sure, but there's just packed so much of orange pigment 
Uh, but when I first swatched medium deep 26 and when I placed it on my hand it looked way too light but I can't be 27 because it's too red but what I found is that this does dry down darker so it worked but when I when you first place it on your hand it doesn't look like it works but when you blend it in and stuff it does dry down darker so that's a good thing this um, also retails for 60 pounds I believe in America it's 68 dollars it is a lot of money any way shape or form you look at it it's a lot of money this is not PR I ain't got those kind of numbers so I had to buy this myself and you know not everybody's gonna get PR so this means you are going to have to spend 60 quid or 68 dollars if this is what you want now, me just being 110% honest, I don't think any foundation out there is worth 60 quid. None. None whatsoever. Unless it has real bits of 24 karat gold or you, it comes with a butler or, I don't know, a car or something. Like, it has to come with something for it to be worth it. 60 pounds is like, nah, I don't... I can understand maybe the skin technology in it is why the price is so high. I'm sure you could get something cheaper for the same finish, but I don't know, I haven't tried it yet, but that is something that's like, mm. If you're used to buying, you know, like her eyeshadows and you buy her stuff religiously, 60 pounds actually is not shocking to you. But I think for somebody who's new to Pat McGrath or, you know someone who's slightly younger it's a lot of money especially when you're looking at foundations that are around 27 to 30 pound mark um but in here you do get i believe slightly more than the average foundation so this is 35 milliliters um which is 1.18 fluid ounces the Too Faced Born This Way foundation is 30 mils which is one fluid ounce the Uma Beauty Uma Beauty foundation is you know what, whoever decided to put the text on the bottom of the Uma Beauty foundation in yellow, I don't know what you were thinking. Um, the Uma Beauty one is also 30 fluid ounce, uh, 30 mils, one fluid ounce, which is the same as the Born This Way foundation. And the Fenty is um, 32 mils. So 1.8 fluid ounce. So you definitely get more in the Pat McGrath foundation. Pat McGrath? Pat McGrath foundation. Pat McGrath? I'm saying Pat McGrath, I don't know why, but even Pat McGrath, Pat McGrath, it's up to you how you want to say it, I say Pat McGrath, um, but you definitely get more in the Pat McGrath foundation. So what we're going to do is I'm going to prime first because I do have oily skin, I definitely need to prime, so let me go ahead and do that. And to prime, I just use my OG primer, which is the Ordinary High Adherent Silicone Primer, I love this stuff. Um, it really helps my makeup to stay on all day, so, and I like that consistency of it as well it is silicone so you don't want to put on too much but yeah I really do love this stuff I'm gonna actually try and apply it with my hands to see how it is so I'm just gonna shake it up a little bit and I'm just gonna put a bit on the back of my hand and that looks light again to me that looks light but once you blend it in I think it's okay so this is medium deep 26 which yeah looks light but we'll see so I'm just going to blend it in. See, once you blend it in, it doesn't, it doesn't look like. But it does, you know what, it does actually feel like a serum. It goes on really nicely. I don't know if it's because of the silicone primer as well, but it goes on super nicely. I don't think it's covering anything at the moment. So I just applied it to this side of the face and it does look like skin. But it's mad because yeah when you look at it you just think no nah, that's way too light. Like it looks way too light but it seems to be working once you blend it in. I don't normally use my hands for stuff because brown foundation gets everywhere. I feel like it's evened out my complexion really nicely and it doesn't feel, yeah, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything on my face, like not at all. And it feels really smooth. But then again, like I said, I don't know if that's down to the primer that I used because that's a silicone primer. So things are like, um, it's quite slippy in texture, but you can see the marks around my nose haven't really gone anywhere, which is fine. So this is one layer. I mean, I can't lie, it looks good. 
it looks good like my skin looks healthy and radiant but it's not covering anything at this moment in time i'm gonna give that like a couple of minutes to set and then i'm gonna go in with a second layer it feels great that's one thing that i'm definitely going to take away from it it feels fantastic this is two layers blended into the skin i mean my skin looks healthy there's a nice sheen to it as well um but obviously i have oily combination skin so i have to set my skin with some powder um, but it looks healthy. It looks like my skin, but better. I wish I could go out with my face like this because I feel like it'd be beautiful. Like that sheen looks gorgeous in my opinion. Like, but I have oily skin, so I ain't trying to lie to myself about being able to go out like this. Like, it's, it's just not going to happen. Um, I'm going to apply concealer, my whole face, and then I'm going to come back and we're going to talk about it. Okay, so this is the finished look. I have tried to do the absolute bare minimum. So, I haven't even put like a tinted powder on my face. I've just literally applied the foundation. Um, I applied concealer, I set my concealer. And just to get rid of any like oily sections, not oily sections, but dewy, dewy sections, like the section in between my eyebrows, I just added a little bit of a pressed translucent powder and that's it. Like I added some highlight and I tried to keep everything natural and just, yeah, just natural basically to see how this is gonna work. So I haven't even set my full face. Did I set my full face? I don't think I did. I think I set sections of my face so that it wasn't overly, overly matte uh, to see how this is going to go. But let me be honest with you guys. I, you guys heard me talk before I applied it and I was like, you know what, 60 pounds. It's just, I don't understand why it would be that great, but applying it and see it sink in and everything, like the more I look at it, the more I like this finish. Like, I like it a lot. 60 pounds worth of a lot? I'm not too sure, but I like it a lot. It feels so lightweight. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing any makeup whatsoever. I haven't spritzed my face or anything, guys. This is just the foundation with a little bit of concealer and a tiny little bit of translucent powder in areas where I was getting a little bit oily. But this is it. Like, I'm feeling it. Are you feeling it, guys? I'm feeling like... I don't know what I was expecting, but I don't think I was expecting this. Like, I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I do or like the finish as much as I do. So I'm going to go about my day today. I have actually quite a busy day and I'm two hours behind where I need to be. So I need to go and travel, get on public transport. I think it's like a high of like 24 today. So it is actually quite hot. Um, so I'm going to see how this is going to fare. I am going to take my translucent pad with me because I can't afford to be out here on these streets looking greasy. I just can't do it. So I'm going to try and check in later with you guys today. So I'm going to test this out, see how it is for the oily skin girls and I'll get back so to it. So it's 10 past five now. I think I've been wearing this makeup for probably about two hours um, and definitely I'm getting a little bit of a shine. I mean, it still looks healthy, but this is very shiny for me. Um, and I really want to blot, but I'm not going to blot at the moment. But bear in mind, I've been on a train and it was super hot in that train. Yes, there is some shine coming through for these oily girls. But remember, I didn't use as much powder as I normally would because I want to see how this fares without using that much powder if you have oily skin. So here's where we're at at this moment in time. And yeah. All right, I'll check in again. Yeah, it's quarter to seven now. I'm definitely oily and greasy. Well, not greasy, but this is not the kind of look I want to go for. For me, it's very noticeable. Uh, separation, a little bit of separation in my smile lines, but that's normally normal. That's my auntie in the back. From afar, <coughs> I think it's okay. Yeah. So this is what I look like now. It's now quarter to eight at or in the evening um and i'm pretty i'm glowy i feel like it's not bad bad but for me this is too glowy but i it still looks like skin and it still doesn't feel heavy or greasy on my face but i can see the grease i spoke to my auntie and it's like it looks it still looks like skin it doesn't look bad to her and i think because i'm used to like quite a matte look this is like really like mm, you know for me but i feel like my skin still looks healthy but it's just really really shiny so i'm gonna blot really quickly and then i'm gonna come back okay so this is my first block and now it looks like skin again like this is how i normally like to look but i actually do really like this foundation i think it's really really pretty um yeah i like how it looks it still looks like skin like and this is very unheard of for me and it hasn't like oxidized or anything on me it hasn't gone red I still feel like it looks like my skin and it matches my chest pack. So it's now the next day of me testing out the new Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Foundation. Um, I got the shade Medium 26 and yesterday I basically wore the whole thing out. 
um, I didn't really use a lot of additional products because I have oily combo skin I tend to use a lot of products to combat my oily combination skin throughout the day I scrapped all of that and I just tried to keep it as light as possible and make sure I didn't use any products that would interfere with the foundation as much so I did set it a little bit but a tiny little bit because obviously I have oily combo skin so I do need to set it so I checked in several times throughout the day just to see how my skin was looking I had a really full day yesterday so it's a good day for me to test out the foundation especially if you have oily combo skin like me and you want to know if you can wear this foundation yesterday was a very good test it was also like high of 24 so it's kind of hot as well uh, for London anyway especially my skin was getting a little bit dewier as time went on um, and I think it got to about maybe about quarter to eight when I decided that actually now I'm gonna blot a little bit because it was a bit too dewy for me I mean if you like the dewy look I'm sure you'd love that finish but for me it was just it was completely out of my comfort zone and I was like no 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 you need to blot it Natalie so I blotted a little bit and it just went back to like that finish that I like. Got home about 11 p.m. 11.30. When I came home and looked in the mirror I still actually loved how the foundation looked on my skin. I don't know what it is. Maybe I did my makeup great that day. I don't know but I just loved how it looked on my skin. Um, but when I obviously turned on the harsh ring light um, it was showing like separation and you know the product was fading a little bit from here but I'm not too mad at the product for that because it was a hot day I'm oily combo so my oils were just messing with this foundation anyway and um, this is like a medium to sheer coverage so it's not full coverage it wasn't cemented down with a lot of my products so it's natural for it to sort of lift off throughout the day so I'm not blaming the product on that today I'm wearing the foundation again this is the shade medium deep 26 but today I've added in my full coverage sort of powder foundation routine so I added my powders I spritzed I added some more powder I spritzed and stuff and to be completely honest with you I don't like this foundation as much this way um I feel like I've taken away from the natural beauty of it and how it makes your skin glow um it just I mean it looks natural I think but I feel like it looks too matte after seeing how it performs just being left on its own um I, I prefer it that way which is so mad because I'm so used to the matte look which is this look um but the dewy look was just so much more beautiful on my skin so that's completely thrown me for six but I did want to show you guys what it looks like when I do my you know my powder and I set and I spritz and all this stuff so you know it, it still looks great it still doesn't feel heavy at all now I'm just looking at the website and on the Pat McGrath website this uh, foundation retails for 52 pounds I bought mine from Selfridges which it was 60 pounds I don't know why there's a price difference of eight pounds but that eight pounds is a lot I don't know what it's about or whatever I don't know if there's like some sort of promotion going on on the website or whatever but I paid more from Selfridges um, than you would on the website so on the website the foundations retail for 52 pounds and Selfridges they are 60 pounds so yeah it comes in 36 shades it has all this wonderful technology in it um, you know that helps with anti-aging and plumping up the skin and all those good things there um, I would say it's medium to sheer coverage um, so if you're looking for something to cover blemishes and hyperpigmentation this may not be for you unless you are comfortable spot concealing with another product afterwards uh, today I haven't done that either um, but I have set with like um, a tinted powder um, in terms of actually buildable coverage I should say even though it's um, a sort of silky serum texture it is buildable but what I'd say is you need to let the first layer dry a little bit so it does dry to almost like a um a, a demi matte a slight demi matte finish which I found which is great that helps to build up so that you're not taking product off it once you apply um I did use a beauty blender but I feel like your beauty blender would need to be a little bit more on the drier side than the damp side to allow you to build up the product otherwise you're just taking product off with the damp beauty blender I hope that makes sense but I guess the question that you guys want to know is if it's worth the coin so I paid £60 for this. Like I said, it's on the website for £52. I paid £60 for it. Do I think this foundation is worth £60 in my honest opinion? In my honest opinion, no. I don't think any foundation is worth £60. I think the only way that I would say that you should spend £52 or £60 on this foundation is if you have spent so many years trying to find a foundation that looks like skin. 
that gives you that dewy sort of glossier girl skin finish you know what i'm talking about you know that those glossier girls that always have that perfect skin and it's just a little bit concealer they can get up and go i think if you have always been looking for that um and you you know you've tried things and nothing's worked for you then yeah i think go ahead and buy this because this may be the thing that you're looking for but i feel like if you have other foundations in your repertoire you know and you like them and you don't have a particular favorite i don't think you need this i mean it is a lot of money reading the claims of the foundation i i feel like this is you know targeted at a certain sort of consumer so um you know somebody who's probably i don't know in their mid to late 30s upwards you know who wants their skin to look like skin who has anti-aging concerns you know who wants to probably fight off wrinkles and things like that that's not to say that you shouldn't buy it if you're not that consumer but it's just interesting to see how it's been marketed um and that's probably why i said you know what it's it's it seems like it's marketed at the woman or the person, sorry, who has the money to buy this, who doesn't mind spending 50 to 60 quid on a foundation. Um, if you are looking for something that is perhaps a little bit cheaper, that also has a skin-like finish, definitely try out the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Fresh, I think it's called. I'll leave it in the description bar below. Basically, it's the lighter weight version of the Estee Lauder um, Double Wear Foundation. So the Double Wear is quite matte. Um, quite heavy whereas this is more of a lightweight version um, but I can't deny the foundation is beautiful absolutely beautiful and I won't deny that it is a gorgeous foundation um, it looked stunning on my skin and you best believe I'm gonna get my money's worth out of this thing if it's gonna kill me <laughs> I definitely will for anybody inquiring I will leave a list of my foundation shades in the description bar below I'm like a 420 in Fenty NC50 in MAC um Estee Lauder double wear sandalwood you know all that good stuff I'll leave as much as I can in the description bar below I do think medium deep 26 is a really good fit for me um so I'm happy I picked up that shade thank you so much for watching this guys if you have any comments questions or queries if I've missed anything out please do let me know in the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as I can don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video if you've already subscribed and you've already liked you are a real MVP I love you I love you long time um and yeah I'll see you guys very very soon bye